Hello everyone, my name is Hannah May and I'm a dancer with Canada's Ballet Jorgen. Welcome to the fourth episode of the CPJ Mime Show. If you haven't already seen them, you can take a look at our previous three episodes right here on our channel. Quick recap, mime is about communicating. Without even noticing, we all use mime to communicate every day. In ballet, we use simple gestures to show, without words, actions and feelings. Like this simple gesture. But we don't just take mind movements from the past, we also make our own, more modern mind movements to properly reflect the actions and the objects of the current era. Here's our mind movement to show that this character is listening to a heartbeat. And here is someone who is very cold. And here is how we mime someone sneezing. You'll probably recognize this important movement. Nice. She did it into her elbow. Let's take a look at Arena miming a conversation. I'm really cold. One moment. Let me take out my stethoscope and listen to your heart. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Oh, yuck. <clears throat> we need to make you strong again so you can feel like a superhero. Even with our more contemporary mime movements, we will sometimes turn our simple gestures into a dance because that's just what we do as dancers. Remember my strong gesture from before? Now let's take it. Here are our dancers rehearsing a scene from the Velveteen Rabbit, where the boy and the toy rabbit are being attacked by germs. The germs are sending shivers and chills into the boy and his bunny. Oh, and he's starting to feel really sick. But look! The boy and his immune system are fighting back. Victory! Now let's watch the same scene on stage with a full cast, costumes and sets. Enjoy! If you would like to make your own mime sequence at home, please send them to us. We would love to see them. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the CPJ Mime Show. Check back for episode 5 where you'll help us get ready for a party.